Hi everyone, it's Emma. So today I'm going to be filming a video about weird Finnish words. These words aren't actually weird if you're speaking Finnish, but if you translate them into English, they're pretty funny. Uh, I think part of the reason behind this is because Finnish has a lot of words that are just combinations of different words put together. And sometimes those combinations don't really make much sense, or at least they don't if you translate it into English. If you're speaking Finnish, you don't really think about it. I kind of like did some thinking behind some really basic Finnish words and thought that they sounded, sounded kind of funny if you translate them directly into English. One example of like weird combinations is something that we actually looked at in a video before, which is rohi karme, and it means dragon, but if you take it apart into rohi, it means salmon, and karme, which means snake, so salmon snake. And I don't think dragons really look anything like salmon snakes, but maybe in Finland they do. So now I'm gonna get to the actual words. Uh, the first one is kulmakarvat, and that refers to eyebrows. If you take apart kulmakarvat into two different words, it would be kulma, which means corner, and karvat, which means hairs. Um, which is pretty funny because it makes me think of like, like, your eyebrows looking like corners. And I don't know, mine. I feel like mine are pretty straight and don't really have much of a corner to them. Um, but I don't know. Let me know if I have corner hairs or not. <laughs> it makes me think of something that looks like this. I don't know if you can see it. But yeah, I don't think eyebrows really look like that, do they? It's, it's funny though because it's not something I've ever thought about before being weird. But I don't know when you like. Translated into English, I guess it's a little bit funny. The next word that I'm going to talk about can actually mean two different things. So the word is munkit. And munkit can refer to either monks, which is like, that actually sounds kind of similar in both languages, or it can refer to donuts. I don't think donuts and monks really have that much in common, but maybe they do and I've just missed it. So if you were to say, I'm going to go eat some munkit, you could either mean, I'm going to go eat some monks, or I'm going to go eat some donuts. The third word that I'm going to talk about is how to say that you're either in a bad mood or in a good mood. In Finnish you would say olen hyvällä tuulella if you want to say I'm in a good mood or on pahalla tuulella if you want to say that I'm in a bad mood. And it's actually funny because this means I'm in a bad wind or I'm in a good wind. And I think that's kind of poetic because like if someone were to ask you how you're doing in English and you replied with oh um, I'm not doing so well, you know, I'm just in a bad wind right now, going through some bad winds. We actually do have a word for mood, which is mielentila, um, which like also you could translate to mind state, um, but that would sound a little bit weird and formal if you were like, yes, I'm in a good mind state. The fourth word that I'm gonna talk about is gasi varsi. Gasi means hand and varsi means stem. Um, and together, gasi varsi means like your entire arm, which I think is kind of funny because it makes me think of instead of having arms on your body, that you just have like flowers on your body or like arm stems. I don't know. Maybe it's just funny to me and no one else. Who knows? The last word that I'm going to talk about is a super common word, and it's maailma. And maailma means world. If you take apart maailma into two different words, it would be ma, which means earth or ground, um, and ilma, which means air. And it's kind of cool, I think, to have the world mean like ground air or earth air. So that's all I have time for today, but it's surprisingly easy to come up with Finnish words that when translated directly into English will actually sound pretty interesting or funny. But if you speak Finnish and you can think of some words that sound funny if they're taken apart or funny if they're translated into English, you should comment them below because I think it's super interesting. Um, and it's actually funny because it's not something I've really thought about before. It's weird that I haven't really compared the languages that much with each other, but it's now that I'm doing it, I think it's super fun. Um, and if you think this is fun too, let me know so I can make more videos like this. And if you don't like this at all, let me know that as well so I can make different kinds of videos. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. Like, comment, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. Bye!